Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my January favourites. So everything that I've been loving this month. Let's just get into it and hope you guys enjoy. If you're new to this, I don't go in any order. I am actually just sat on my stuff right now. So I'm just going to show it in any order whatsoever. Sorry if you find that atrocious, but I'm doing it. Let's get a big thing out of the way though. So this is Fallout 4. Um, it's an 18, so ask your parents permission before buying it. So yeah, basically what it is, is it is a war game. Um, you're in charge. Um, you go on quests, missions. It is very similar to Elder Scrolls. I think I mentioned that in my December favourites video. And it is actually made by the same people, Bethesda. I love them. I want their other game called The Evil Within. That looks really good as well. You can tell that it's made by Bethesda just with the way that it looks and stuff. But yeah, it is such a good game because some of the missions take absolutely forever. You know, you do it eventually. It just seems like sometimes that it's impossible. Nothing is impossible. And you will learn that by playing this I'm game. I'm trying to go in order. So this is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. It looks like this. I absolutely love the packaging on this. So I think the Balm Cosmetics do lots of like highlighters. This is a highlight by the way. The Mary Luminizer, the Betty Luminizer and the Cindy Luminizer. But this is the Betty Luminizer. It looks amazing. But it is so pigmented. And it lasts a long time too. Which is what I always look for in a highlight. See how nice that looks. This was about £15, I think, which is a little bit pricey. But if you're looking for a really good highlighter, then I totally recommend buying that one. Something that I've been loving to apply my foundation with this month is the Beauty Blender. Now, obviously, this isn't the Beauty Blender, as you can probably tell. But it is a knockoff dupe sort of thing. I'm actually going to invest in the Real Techniques sponge, because that is supposed to be a really good dupe for it. But yeah, I've just been loving how it blends my foundation. Always use it when it's damp because it just goes on a hell of a lot easier when it's damp. But yeah, absolutely loving this. I think this was like a pound on eBay or something from China. But there. So something that I've been loving perfume-wise this month is the Tease Impulse. And I love the packaging, by the way. Matches my room. It smells like heaven <laughs> smells kind of fruity walking through some woods somewhere and this is literally the smell that you're getting just a little bit more like florally gorgeous keeping with the blue perfume theme i have the super dry this might have actually been in my like december favorites but i like to copy sometimes so yeah this is the i actually remember this being in my favorites it's the super dry perfume I'm still loving it this month, as you can see it's gone down a lot. It should have run out last year, but it's still going strong. Also, perfume wise this month, I have been loving the Pocket Back in Honolulu Sun. Honolulu Sun, what a name. So all you need is a little bit, a little bit. And this one smells like coconuts. I have so many Pocket Backs, it's unreal. But honestly, this smell has got to be one of my favourites. My friend Ella doesn't like it, but I love it. Absolutely love it. So a nail varnish that I've been loving this month is the OPI in You Better Pink. And yeah, it looks like this. It was I was actually wearing it in one of my videos that I've uploaded recently. Yeah, this is what it looks like. OPI nail varnishes last so long on my nails. OPI, they're really expensive, but you get 50 milliliters in, which is amazing. Like, honestly, it's so much 50 milliliters. You can do your hands about 200 times. Maybe not, but... Yeah, just really good. Lasts a long time. Worth the money. And then, to finish off my favourites, I have the Girl Online on Tor book. This, I, Girl Online is my favourite book ever, even though I don't really like the person. <laughs> I don't really like Zoella, um, personally, I think, I'm not going to tell you what I think of her, but like, I don't like her. 
So, um, yeah, but this book is amazing. She didn't write it, it was ghost written, but still, I really like this book. So I had to get the second one of it. Still, absolutely love it. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please thumbs up if you did. Links will be in the description below as always. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all later. Bye.